What's up, Steam It? Brian Phobos here, and today I just want to talk about what the fastest way to gain a following on Steam It is so that you can hopefully normalize your payouts and everything. But first, you need to do an introduction post, and it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and verify yourself. Now, the way you can do this is you can hold up something that says Steam It, maybe put the date on it. And um, now, not everybody wants to show their face, you know, all that kind of stuff on Steam It. Um, but some way to verify yourself as a real person and that you hadn't been there before. Now, the reason that is is because about 10 months ago, I mean, there was all kinds of fake accounts popping up. It would be like, you know, somebody would take pictures from an Insta hottie and pretend to be some hot girl. So that's where that comes from. You want to do the introduction post and verify yourself early on. Um, now, when, like after you do that, I recommend people getting in steamit.chat. I continually get in steamit.chat for all my posts and post, you know, what the post is. So I put the URL for the post and I put the URL for the image. And then I copy that in, paste it in there. So it'll put an image underneath the post that you're trying to promote. Now, if you get in there for the first time, you want to add some channels, go ahead and search for post promotion. You know, go ahead and search for post promotion. And uh, there's going to be different ones. There's going to be like with conversation, without conversation. Um, also, you, Minnows Unite, that's another one that you can get into. But there's different ones you can post. And I post on all of them. I, I post on like five different ones anytime I have a new post. Throw it up there, you never know who's going to see it. And um, upvote other people's posts. You know, look at the, take a look at their posts. If you want to upvote it, upvote it. Um, so, and leave comments relevant comments on their post and then also tell them in steamit.chat hey i i upvoted your post you know and then they're gonna then the the general thing is for them to look at your post so um you know interact with the community now as far as far as like you know gaining that following go around like search people's content leave tons of comments relevant comments and interact with people you know if they're got something like let's say they post some pictures of their dogs and then you're like oh yeah we always had boxer dogs growing up blah 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 blah. you know just like leave relevant comments don't just put nice posts that's not really going to get you very far but you find out that a lot of people upvote other people's comments and then you can end up sometimes early on earning more from posting comments than you can by posting like full form blog posts um you know and i know there's some I know there's some content creators that pretty much if you go in there and add relevant comments they they upload a lot of them and then it could be a dollar or two you know and just keep do, keep doing that to their post other people's posts and um over time it starts to rack up start gaining steam now as far as content selection of what kind of things you're going to talk about i blog about anything my core four things that i blog about are like health and wellness related stuff like working out diet that kind of stuff also dating related stuff a lot I'll, I'll talk about the apps like tinder bumble coffee meets bagel I'll talk about social interactions also talk about making money online i have a resale business so i sell a lot of stuff on my own websites on you know ebay amazon bonanza that kind of stuff so i talk about business related mindset and just business in general like resale related stuff affiliate marketing ad revenue those kind of things um and then the other the fourth thing that i really talk about is travel and adventure and a lot of my stuff is not just like going to the place it's usually doing something really cool like jumping off cliffs something that the common person typically wouldn't attempt or wouldn't be able to do um, so i kind of try to add that adventure element into it and that's just my thing and one way that I've differentiated myself away from other people is like blogging from the pool like from back 10 months ago I was always the guy in the pool like having the pool meeting so people started remembering me as that um, I guess for better or for worse but it kind of stuck in people's mind like who does that who blogs from the pool um, so you know try to separate yourself try to like kind of make a name for yourself or differentiate yourself now one thing you can do is start something new like a game or do like a donation potentially usually you have to get a little bit of credibility in the community before you can do this but one of the things that I did last year for the 2016 Olympics 
is I did a donation thing for Cyrus Hostetler, who was an Olympic javelin thrower for the United States. Uh, track and field athletes are way underfunded and got him a little bit of money and got kind of a community effort going and got him a few hundred dollars. You know, so, you know, it was just, that was something we did. Now, examples, people starting up games, ATS David, one of the ways he really kind of kind of made a name for himself is doing an NFL game each week. You know, he's putting that together and people, you know, see that he's credible and he's doing the payouts and all that kind of stuff. And it's a great way. Papa Pepper has games. He has the Steam Apocalypse. And, you know, his he's on like season three or four. I was wanting to be in the last one here, but then I like left for a few days and then I wasn't, I didn't get really signed up for it. Um, so one thing just in general, so just to recap, when you first do your post, you know, spend some time on it, do, do an introduction of yourself and verify yourself, you know, show, show something that really like makes it to where, yeah, this person's real. They are part of Steam It. I always, you know, videos, obviously, how are you going to fake that? If I'm sitting here saying, oh yeah, I'm so-and-so, you know, hey, Steam It, you know, it's kind of hard to like fake that. You're a real person if you're doing that kind of stuff. Um, you know, get in steam it dot chat. I'm always in there all the time. Now, not everybody gets in there. Like Trayvon James, Craig Grant, and Crypt Zero Crypto, they don't really get in steam it dot chat. Some people don't get in there. Some people do. I do. I still continue to get in there, and there's very successful ones that still do as well. Um, you know, make relevant comments, and then also kind of just pick what your genre is or just go all over the place. I mean, I post about a lot of different stuff, but I got undiagnosed ADD, so I can't, you know, for me to stick to one thing or try to find a niche, I don't know, I just can't. It's more about my life or it's more like a lifestyle blog for me of the way that I approach Steam It and just stuff that I'm interested in. Um, you can start a game, start something new, start a donation, everything. So now in general, I just want to talk about a few things. How much is your post worth? This can become very frustrating. Post is worth anywhere from between a penny and freaking $10,000. I don't know. It's, it, trust me, it's very frustrating. And I think one of the psychological hurdles for Steemit, for people on Steemit, is to plan the compare game. Oh, this person got paid this for this. This isn't fair. That's not fair. Man, you know, we, we all kind of had to get past that. Like, it was worse before. It was worse 10 months ago. You'd get a good payout, and then there would be 12 or 14 posts where you wouldn't get anything. And it was just like, it's just people quitting left and right, just upset, like people announcing, you know, the death of steam and all this stuff. But we just got past it. Either you're gonna post or you're not, you know. Either you're gonna stick or you're not. It's just like anything, it's just like a job. Are you gonna stay there or are you gonna quit? I don't know. You decide. You know, so it is possible, though. You see some of these people that stuck with it. They did their time in the trenches. Pop Pop Pepper did his time in the trenches. Craig Grant did his time in the trenches. Um, the Crypto Fiend, he did his time in the trenches. You see the amount of posts that these people have done, comments, and full on blog posts. Man, people went hard, you know, and they kept going. They never quit. Um, Stella Bella, I, that's the way, when I see her name, I, that's what I always say. She did her time in the trenches. She got big payouts early on. Then when she wasn't getting paid out and she was kind of on the outs of the community, she kept going. She didn't quit. She didn't quit. She could easily quit. She, she quit. So she, to me, she did her time in the trenches. Um, try to play the long-term game. You know, this is crypto in general is going to be a long-term game creating a following on any social media platform, whether it be Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, any of these, it's a long-term game. You know, you can't can't necessarily expect like super immediate, you know, positive results. Some people have gotten that, most don't. Gotta play the long-term game. Try to form a crew. One of the early things that Craig Grant did like 10 months ago was he got a group together and he even had his own own tag where he was saying yeah tag it is craig craig rant like craig's ranting about something we're all tagging as that um you know and it just kind of like kind of funneled that stuff a little bit to the side because the follow button didn't work the way it does now and um he created that community 
it was like Trayvon James, Crypto, Crypto Fiend. There was like a guy named Paco. There was a bunch of people. Some people are around, some people aren't. Uh, but it, 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 he created that crew and kept that there, kept that cohesion, and um, he never quit. So anyway, I want to end the video there. Play the long-term game. Be part of the VIP. If you know about Steemit right now, and you're on Steemit, and you got a Steemit account, you're part of the VIP.